addictive. The new ones are free to download, but then the costs begin to climb. And parents say one game in particular has become a craze that's out of control. Lilana Strogoff has our Fox 11 investigation. <laughs> Battling cartoon monsters, using magical powers and potions, swords, weapons, and trickery. It's fun. It's a video game called Maple Story, a hot new virtual hangout among school-aged kids. A lot of my friends play it on here with me. Like some of my friends that couldn't be here, um, they're playing, they're actually talking to you right now. But the spread of Maple Story has been fantastic. Players say the game sets the bar high. Kevin, a big fan, even calls it morally responsible. It doesn't allow any profanity, really, and there's no, like, player versus player violence. But some kids and parents say Maple Story can really suck you in, and that the cost in both time and money can sometimes get way out of control. It could get, like, so bad that, like, you're spending at least, like, $50, like, a week. Talk to me about what it keeps you from. It kind of keeps me away from family. It gets me away from real life. Maple Story is marketed as an awesome multiplayer game available for free. A simple download. But the business model behind it, first, get kids hooked on a free game. Then get them buying all the cool stuff that goes with it. Players use cash cards available at stores or online through PayPal to get virtual accessories for the characters in their alternate universe. Just different items to make your character look different or cooler. Virtual clothes, gear, even haircuts, all for their online avatars. Is that your character? Yeah. I'm gonna go buy some new shoes. This 11-year-old says she became so obsessed, she stole from her mom to get the stuff she wanted. My friends told me that they knew a way to use her credit card. When she found out, she was really upset about it. Another mother tells a similar story. Her son broke into her PayPal account for his Maple Story gear. For an 11-year-old, they were pretty large charges. I didn't realize that something like that could be so addictive to a child so young. That scared me a little bit. But the company behind Maple Story, Nexon, says while it encourages players to use good judgment, it can't be responsible for kids who go overboard. We want um, users to be very measured in you know, their usage of, of our games, and uh, we want parents to contribute to that. Parents and even kids we talk to agree. Limits need to be set at home. Depending on how many hours my mom and dad will let me play on the computer, I'm definitely like spend a lot of time playing this game. I'm not gonna go let her spend hundreds of dollars. I just think we should be more cautious. Nexon says Maple Story already has four million players in the United States who spent millions of real dollars in their virtual world. In Los Angeles, Delilah yeah. Strogoff, Fox, yeah. 11 News. China said they built a better peanut and that.